Hello everyone, welcome back. Today, I am, as I promised in last week's video, it is a biking video, hence the helmet. But today, as I promised, I am on my brother's bike, the Calibra I Rail or something. I don't actually know what it's called, I'm just reading what it says on the bike. But anyway, yeah, we're at Ormond. I just walked up. Uh, I accidentally stumbled upon this uh, top view because I was originally over there. But uh, yeah, we're going to try and find a little trail somewhere and uh, see what we can find. Hopefully we can find all of the good bike tracks and uh, yeah, just have a blast all around really. So just a quick little rundown of the bike. Uh, I've converted it to single speed because the derailleur broke, as you can see there. The front brake basically is non-existent. Oh, that's decided to work actually. But you do have to pull all the way in. The rear is about the same. It doesn't really work that well. And uh, the pedal is uh, cracked. So, with all that happening, this video can only be fun. I probably will get lost. I probably will crash. But will we have fun? Yes, we will. With that being said, let's get into the first trail now. Okay, so I think I finally found one of the tracks that uh, I went down last time I was here. And uh, if I remember right, it's down here. And then there's like a little bit of a, I think everyone calls it a ski jump. And it sort of goes in like a bit of a bermy section, uh, then back to the bottom of the hill. So I'm gonna start just a little bit up there, come down and then hit straight into this line and Hopefully it's all right. I really don't remember this track at all, so uh, yeah, hopefully it goes well. And also, I just wanted to show you, that's the line I'm gonna go down, but just to the left, there is this little drop off. It's probably like, I don't know, like four foot to that point down there, but you'll probably land somewhere down there with speed and stuff. I would hit it today, but I am on my own, and two, I'm riding a Calibra. So, yeah, I don't particularly trust it, and it's quite dodgy at the moment as it is, so. But I'm just going to go for the safe option, down this bit for now, and then uh, one day if I'm here with a better bike, and hopefully with someone as well, I might actually hit that. Hit that. Me from the future here, uh, editing this video. Uh, the trail that I just showed you in that clip, uh, I can't actually show you that footage because I've suffered from file corruption so I can't actually download it or view it or anything um, that trail and like four others I hit as well so I've currently only got two trails that I have managed to download um, which is the ski jump one that one I showed you wasn't the ski jump it was another one that was just really flowy and loads of berms and everything it was so much fun um, but yeah, the next track you will see is the ski jump, and then I'll show you another one to end off the day. Uh, but sadly I can't show you the other ones because I have lost them due to file corruption. But even though I have lost them all, I suppose it is a good excuse to get back up there again and hit those trails. So look forward to that in a future video. So yeah, with that being said, let's get straight into back into the video. Good news. I have actually found the ski jump track. Uh, there's a little ski jump down here. The first bit is rocky and rooty. Then there's a little ski jump. And then there's a few berms. And then there's, well, I don't know. That's all I can remember. So, this is the track that I wanted to hit and try and find. And I actually have, so I'm well happy. Let's uh, get this bit. Not slowing to any trees, it's not going to be absolutely horrible. Woo! That's the first bit of air I've got on this bike. Wonderful. Okay, now it's through here, right? Yeah, okay. Could have gone a bit faster. There, up there, down here. A little bit of air again. Oh, skin and not good. Nearly came off, but that's okay. Where is it? This bit. Do another Got double that I'm not doing because that's how it's sketchy. 
So this is the bit that I really don't know or remember. Oh, my eyes are watering. Yeah. Phew. I think that was the track. That one was well fun. As I said, the sun is setting quite low now and uh, the sun is also like on the other side of here. So I might uh, start making my way back, see if there's another track that I can hit just before the sun actually fully goes. And uh, yeah, but that track is sick. I don't know the name of it or actually where I am. I haven't even looked on Google Maps. Probably should actually so I can find it again. But uh, that was a seriously fun track. If you have a good bike and actually know the track, well, yeah, if I just know the track, you can have so much fun on there. Because those two jumps were, were sick. I managed to get actually more height and further distance than I thought. So yeah, that was well fun. So I'm gonna start making my way back and wherever we get into next. Last trail of the day. I did originally hit this one this morning. Yeah, I might have put it in the video, I'm not sure. But I was on the brakes like the entire time, so. I wanna try and get it better. Now that I've done a couple more runs, uh, I feel more confident on the bike. I know how it handles. And I've already done the trail once, so. Hopefully, I can remember it. And I think it's right down here. Yeah. Right there, over those, okay, oh, okay. Wow, this is way faster than this morning. And to be honest, it feels way better to be going faster down this as well. I think it's I don't really remember the entire track again. I don't sleep. I've been down others. And uh, yeah, I don't remember all of it, but so far, this is way faster and way better. Oh, that was a little bit out of control. And that's the track. Oh, let's just blast down this rear bit as well. Why not? Make it a little longer. And since I am kind of racing against the sun as it is, I've got to be back kind of early today. Uh, I'm going to be going down this quick anyway, so might as well record it. And it's quite fun actually, it's kind of like a blue trail. So it's like flowy and fun and fast. Ah. Trying to get a bit of speed up. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video so far. Hopefully it wasn't too boring at the beginning. Uh, I really want to do this again some stage. And maybe hopefully with a couple of others as well. Because that would make it more fun and interesting. Uh, there's the famous post. Uh, so relieved we can't see anything. And my eyes are watering so that doesn't help hopefully you can hear me as well that's not too windy oh, this is well fun I seriously need to get out and do this again little shroud probably couldn't see that on camera but there was a little one try again whoa I hit something my phone's not come out, that's good. 
He really looks alright. Well done. What's happened? Oh, has the wheel shifted? As you can see, the wheel has shifted and it's now rubbing against the frame. You see it's kind of clear that way and it's fully against that way. Now, wait, have I just buckled the wheel? No, it looks straight. The good thing about it is it's a quick release, so I'm gonna try and adjust it here and hopefully I can ride all the way back home. Okay, the wheel has been adjusted. The chain is acting up a little bit now, very much so. I think it's now got into its crypt gear. I converted it to a single speed, so it's only long enough for like one uh, certain gear, but I don't know which one it is. But anyway, it feels like it's back in place. I'm not going to shroud again because I just don't want to fix the bike again. So we're just going to bond down this last little bit. Have the time of our lives. Slam on the brakes. Squeeze through there. And call it a day. So that is the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. I hope it wasn't too boring. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like on the video. Subscribe for more. Leave me a comment below. And until next time, I'll see you then.